Who the... Hey! Come on. of how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah. I learned quickly that a neon stain in form closed the lift. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he could. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, They'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation, hostages or not. There are two things you don't do in Neon. One, you don't mess with Bayou's money. I need to impress that upon you. Because the fact that you think justice is absolute concerns me, Deputy. It's never that simple. Justice can mean different things to different people, and laws can be interpreted and debated. A ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. That's why I bought the hot Hey, Billy. Got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. Know what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. The only one that matters around here, the Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. With that being said, Rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me.
This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Nah, I don't think so. Neon's got a ranger, and you ain't him. Do you now? I'm not falling for that. You're not getting past me. Yeah, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking before. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Here, this will get you in. Just keep walking. Well now, look here. Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Ah, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf, but I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. Well, that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my fault he dragged Billy into it, but make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Huh. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Let's just calm down now. I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. If folks might try to take advantage. Making a fortune if they'd let us fish for Gasm Pass. Yeah. 
not the truth. Goodman? But he's on the outs. Dealing with him won't cause ripples. Yeah. I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Star Ranger and his what are you a sidekick or something well I'm sure your mom is real proud so how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the Ranger uh, this is the deputy's case is that so and you had to bring backup just for little old me <laughs> I'm flattered anyway this ain't my first interrogation so let's just get on with it Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right, so I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. I do want to make things right. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. 
you serious? Take your pick. Money? Reputation? The thrill of it? All good reasons. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankrolling the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed. Given how well they paid me. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. Should make a good story for the kids one day. Now, you're not pestering the captain, right, Cora? Pester? You think I'm a pest? Oh, uh, never. Poor choice of words. You being nice to the crew, too? Of course. So this book collection fund I heard about? Don't you always say, don't listen to rumors?
not going to be you? part of Why was this. that necessary? Listen up. I really need to talk uh, to you. I have a bit of time I and really I need to talk, talk to, you to you about some things. I won't waste your time, so please don't waste mine. Stop by... there a lot, right? In space? Let's do us all a favor. I actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. Anything I can help you with? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Okay, no problem.
I'm sure you can find something you like. to be helping the Free Star Rangers. Our newest deputy. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great, but at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so... Stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. It'll take as long as it takes. You can't rush a job like this. But one thing I can promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. These rangers are some hard-blooded folk. They ain't afraid of anything.
I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is, a start. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. Think about leaving the city. Asta out there, and they are no joke. You've been warned. Something to report?
welcomes all patients, whether Freestar or UC. Dad, can I have a pet? A pet? We live on a starship, Cora. Pets and starships don't always mix so well. Aw, come on, please. I need somebody to talk to while I'm on the ship by myself. <laughs> Give him an inch. We'll see, Gumdrop. Pressure normalized and we're docked. Need some work done? Another day, another shift. Keep it moving. How are you doing? Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Well, now, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? It ain't anything bad, if that's what you're wondering. You just keep your mind on the task at hand. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Well, I think you made the right decision to come here. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. And just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge. The idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. No matter He's about how much the only we learn, we're only just barely with. staying ahead of the curve. Hey there, Ari. Working hard. It'll be enough to know the Rangers working. are keeping an eye on us. But to have it be my own. Hey, husband, Chief. So come A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you and Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else? I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her?
That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. There's certainly no shortage of things to do around here. You know, just by breathing the air in here, you are being exposed to about a dozen different okay. viruses. Okay, give me that just a is. minute here. Probably. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Got a little bit of a cough. Probably not. something weird that's not too much to us. If you need assistance, please see Ari Miller at the desk. Yes, what do you want? Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Who exactly are you? You could be Solomon Coe himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Oh. I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. 
Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this.